Hey everyone, it's Tracy Gadu. I'm just giving everybody a, an update on my track prep for Roebling Road Raceway this weekend with NASA Southeast. Came by today after work. Um, I had the clamps that I ordered, the Vino, I guess Vino's clamps from Summit shipped directly here to Miller's Tire. Tried to use them, found out quickly that they would have to be welded on and that would probably need to be welded. They'd need to be welded on to uh, new exhaust that I would get in the future, not what I've got currently. And I'm not interested in changing exhaust, so we're gonna go with a different um, product and hopefully that they'll be in tomorrow, those clamps. Um, also checked on my brakes. Um, they were great before VIR, but uh, I guess VIR took a toll on them and uh, really down to the rivets on the fronts, unfortunately. Um, so I did put some fresh cobalt friction pads on uh, XR1s on the front. The rears were good. They probably could get two more events for that with those, so waited on them. I want to give a shout out to uh, Motul. Uh, this is the brake fluid that I use and I've always used. I'm very, very happy with this product, um, RBF 600. Um, shout out to them because they are one of the sponsors of the Max Attack 5 uh, trailer sponsorship program from Intech. So uh, they are giving away $1,000 worth of product to the winner of the trailer. And, uh, and I use Motul really for the life of this car. So I'd like to hopefully win that product as well as the trailer. Again, I'd like to thank everybody out there for who's been voting uh, for me also. But now uh, back to my track prep. Uh, I went ahead and had the mount installed for the uh, cooler. Uh, the cool shirt uh, cooler is now mounted to the passenger floorboard. As you can see. Hopefully see. I also um, rerouted the transponder. Um, it was a little bit uh, further back uh, or kind of near the front of the motor area. Um, I moved it to the front grill area. You can see there make it a lot easier for me to get to. I won't have to, to jack the car up. Um, I'll be able to know if the battery life is okay. Um, how much battery life do I have by how many blinking lights it shows. Just be a lot easier for me to get to to charge as well. Uh, that's about, as, about it as far as my track prep goes this time. I didn't need it all changed. The oil's topped off. Just now waiting on those clamps and um, should be good to go. I should actually be able to load this car hopefully tomorrow or Wednesday at the latest and uh, won't be last minute like last time. Anyway, I wanted to just give everybody a quick update on how things are going and uh, everyone have a good Monday. Thanks.